Welcome to another video tutorial and this is another uh, video and this is part of the uh, tutorial series on how to create a point of sale system using JavaFX and MySQL. So from the previous tutorial we have implemented the capability of adding a new product. So if we try to log in to our system or into our POS, we will be able to click on this manage product button and we should be able to browse image and add information such as the barcode description price category weight and status of the product and um i know uh this is not yet complete what we have to do in this particular video is to enable um to update and delete um any record um, that is present here in our table view so whenever we click on this um, uh, whenever we select a particular row the update and delete button should be uh, enabled and the save button should be disabled and of course the information should be displayed um, here according to their information so for example the barcode should be uh, here the description should go in the description text field and so on so um, this is quite similar to the feature that we have added for our categories so if you click manage pro uh, manage product and then add so whenever we click um, on any of the row here in our table view it sets the value into the category um, text field and then we should be able to update delete the um, category accordingly so now we're gonna do the same for the products table um, we need to add a listener here so that whenever we click on the row the information should be um, displayed okay so we're gonna do that by closing the application and let's go here inside our products that um, I mean products controller that Java so as I've said we're gonna do the same um but what, what we did here in the category controller so first off we added a listener for our table so we're gonna copy that so uh, maybe here there you go and then of course we need to define that uh, we have uh, we have it here listener for table we're, we're, we could just you know copy and paste this copy and then paste um, here just before the handle browse image uh, method so um, here we need to specify the products table view there you go and then uh, get selection model selected item property at least in her um, we have the OBS old selection and then the new selection so if the new selection is not equal to null then we should set the BTN update into uh, you know disabled uh, the same thing with the delete button and of course we're gonna uh, you know set the values for our um, products barcode description price and so on so let's just instead of category name we could say i think we used et barcode and then set text okay and then we could say new selection or, or we can use that particular parameter so new selection and then get um i think we don't have barcode added into our um, class we could add that here inside our products that Java so as you can see here we have all the fields so we could add the barcode right here so we're gonna use string for that okay so string barcode and this dot barcode we're just setting the class variable value by using the parameter barcode and then of course we need to 
set also or add another um, getter method for our barcode so get barcode when it close and then we have to return the barcode itself okay save that and we should be able to get barcode right here get barcode there you go and then description and then set text we could just copy this new selection variable right here and then get description okay et um, price set text new selection add get price okay um otherwise we could say we could set the values to empty okay empty because uh, the new selection variable returns null okay there you go now um, we're setting also the BTN update into enabled uh, I mean disabled uh, we interchange it but uh, yeah here whenever the new selection is not equal to null we're setting the disabled or we're setting this BTN update um, BTN delete to be um disabled okay because we don't want to have the um, btn update and delete to be you know activated um, if the new selection is uh, not equal to null or something now we need to do the same for our um other fields or other elements so for example we're using the uh, what they call this combo box we're using combo box okay so we could also set the text property of our combo box okay so i'm going to show you that okay so that will be uh, i think we're using categories so cb category is that get selection model and then select and then new selection um, get category okay cb status that get selection model and then select the object coming from the new selection so status and then cb status that get uh no not status cb wait get selection model select again the object coming from our new selection variable get um, wait we don't have wait here let's check here in our products we don't have wait okay um, I think we could just ignore that for now but you get the idea that you can you know set the um what they call this you can set the selected item of your combo box coming from uh, you know the database or coming from the table itself there you go so we have here get product list and of course we should add also the barcode rs that get string and then barcode there you go um, here 
um, CB categories uh, categories categories that get selection model and then uh, that select okay so for example we want to select first that will work okay so it just means that we uh, reset the, the combo box so status that get selection and then select first there you go and then um, yeah we ignored um, CB wait for now okay um, clean and build our application okay and then login so admin and then admin manage products and then I click on this one okay so as you can see we're setting the values of our um, text fields right here whenever we click any row here in our table view and actually we could also add um, for the ID so we could close this um, where is it uh, here so we could say I think we're using 80 ID okay um, set text and that will be equal to the new selection and then get ID okay but we also need to um, update our products or view products okay so we could just append a string right here uh, this is just one way of um, um, you know solving this problem because this particular line right here returns integer and the set text method uh, expects string so that's why we're trying to append uh, an empty string right here okay so let's just save this and um, I think that's good um, also we need to set the what do I call this um, text field ID to be you know to, to be disabled I mean we should not be you know editing the um, ID right here because it should be uh, auto generated for us so it will be properties and then let's just say editable let's just uncheck this okay save and clean and build also we need to add you know the on action event for our update and delete and we would just copy the code that we have for our categories so I think we already finished um, rebuilding our application so let's try this for now Admin and admin. Okay, so manage product or products. Okay, so we have here the ID and we cannot edit it. Okay, we should, uh, we are setting this to not editable. There you go. Okay. Okay, so btn save should be disabled whenever we click something here where is it um, okay 
btn save that set disable equals false and then we're gonna copy this and add it here there you go okay now we're going to do the same for our category meaning whenever we click on the update and delete we should be able to of course update and delete the record so uh, let's just check there you go uh, we have this two functions or two methods that we have here so we should be able to add also the update on auction event right here so edit entry we could do that okay and we have also delete entry so we could use that i think we do, we do have it here uh, where is it uh, there you go we have here the edit entry and delete entry so what we could do is just copy and paste it here copy and then paste okay and then we could do the same for the delete okay and of course we need to change this um, table products So product and then show products show products tab uh, table products and it should be products right here um, we should update um, setting the uh, I think we don't need to update also the barcode. We need to update only the description. So we're gonna use et description um, description. Of course, if you want, you could you know you know, uh, you know check if the description is empty or not. It's up to you. Um, set. description after that is price equal single code and then um, single code double code double code plus the ET price that txt or get x okay and then make sure to um, list the fields that you want to update so price and then i think it's category right category equals um single code double code double code and then single code and then plus uh, cb categories that get selection model and then get selected item okay there you go you could do the same for the status so that will be status equals single code double code double code and then single code plus plus and then this would be cb status that get x or get selection model and then uh let's make this two lines or three lines so that you will be able to see
Okay, so status equals get selection model and then get selected item. Okay. Okay, so I think that will do for now. And of course, if you want to add the other fields, you can you can add that. Um, this is not integrity. This is supposed to be a product. Okay. So there you go. And then here, instead of category, it should be product. And then category that get ID. I mean product that get ID. Show products. Okay. So we could, you know, delete this particular line, but I'll just leave it at the, uh, you know, as it is for now. Um, let's clean and build our application. And let's check if our update and delete is working. Okay. Run file. Manage products test edited product and then update. Okay, unknown column description in field test description set description. Okay, so let's check our. Um, text or I mean the field description so I'm gonna open up my page with my admin and check for the right field okay so okay so uh, we have the description field but um, we're trying to update the category. So let's just close this for now. So the categories table doesn't have a description. So it should be products. Okay. And of course, we're trying to delete a product, not a, tag, uh, not a category. So clean and build. And we should be able to get the desired output for our application so run file and admin admin on each products and edit the product and then update there we go we now have the edited product right here and we could try to delete this okay there you go and of course we could add the um, what they call this alert later on so whenever we have uh, successfully deleted the product then the alert should display products or a certain product uh, has been deleted or something Okay, again, let's try to delete. Okay, so our table view has been updated whenever we uh, delete item or update um, any item or any row that has been selected here. So in the next video, we're going to implement um, the alerts and also add more features to our POS. So if you like uh, our tutorial, you can follow along. Um, and try to learn how to create POS or point of sale system using JavaFX and PySQL. So thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video.